Hi there, I'm John Shields and welcome to Chesapeake Bites. Today we're going to be making a Charlotte Town Farm roasted butternut squash and spicy onions. So I'm getting these spicy onions done first thing. Um, they take a little bit of time. You're just kind of cooking, 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 and you can kind of see they're getting golden brown. Now, uh, recipe calls for one medium on onion. We don't know what that means anymore. We go to the grocery store, onions that big. That's why I like to go to farmer's market. You can get onions that look like onions. I'm just saying. Okay. So, all right, got to do this here. Now, to make it spicy, I'm using some chili, crushed chili peppers. About a teaspoon. Put that in there like so. And then we're going to flavor it up really, really nicely. I'm going to do some lime juice, fresh lime juice here. I'm going to shut this off while I put the rest of the lime juice in. Just give it a good squeeze. All right. And then um, I took, used a zester, got a little bit of the outside of the lime, put that there. Give it some extra flavor and a little texture as well. We have that there. And so we have a little hot in there, right? With the chili peppers. So I'm going to kind of balance that out with some local honey. And I'm just going to use a couple teaspoons in there, like so. Okay. And then... There you go. You have some spicy, spicy onions. Now, next up, so I'm just putting that on the side so that can cool while we finish this whole concoction up. So the butternut squash, in case you haven't seen a butternut squash, people love this. You can make soups out of it. You can make salads out of it. You can just roast it and it's amazing. So basically what I did is I peeled the squash, cut it in half. There are seeds in there, so you just want to scoop out the seeds. It's kind of like if you were doing a pumpkin. And it looks like this after you finish it. So generally what I did is cut it in. You, there's a couple ways you could do it. You could cut it in to wedges like this, or you could do cute little like um, half moons or whatever. So anyway, you want to do it about, about a half an inch thick, like so. All right. Then, next thing we do is get a bowl, take your butternut squash, throw those right in there. And then I'm going to take just a little bit of olive oil here, like so, and then a little bit of salt and pepper, and I'm really just going to toss it around, not, not that much. So this gives you a general idea of roasting butternut squash. We're doing it with spicy onions. You could go in any direction. You could use some of your favorite seasoning. You could use almost like a, a honey kind of rub on it. Um, and then all you have to do is get a nice sheet pan, lay out your butternut squash. Um, I started at about 375 for about the first 15 minutes. The last five minutes, I just up it um, until, you know, for about 400 degrees and you get it roasted nice. All right, and I'll show you in a second. We'll put it all together. All right, here we go. Look at this. Our butternut squash is all cooked right through. So it's a little bit tender. You don't want it to be mushy. You just want it to be, you know, just barely cooked. So we did a great job with that. So let me get this here. So to finish this, butternut squash and spicy onion dish. All you have to do is take all these lovely butternut squash, put them into the bowl, 
like so. Oh, look at that one trying to get away from me. Huh. And then take, we're going to take about, like about a cup of toasted hazelnuts. I did those a little earlier. They're also known, if you go to the store and you don't find hazelnuts, they're also called filberts. Um, then some beautiful freshly chopped mint. Put that over there. I'm going to put, all right, so this recipe actually comes from Charlottetown Farm, and I'm going to put some of her chev goat cheese in there, like so. Have a little bit of marjoram, but you can use any kind of fresh herb that you want. If you had just some basil or something, that would work just as well. And I'll put another pinch of salt and pepper in there. And basically, all we're doing is tossing it all together. And so, you know, when the, um, the roasted squash is still a little warm, the cheese starts to just melt a little bit and it makes it oh so good. All right, now what I'm gonna do is put this right here onto a platter. Look at these colors. I mean, between the platter and the greens and the vibrant kind of orange of the butternut squash. Woo, good. All right, there we go. Just fluff this up a little bit here. And then you thought I forgot, right? Did not forget. We have our spicy onions. So that's gonna have all that wonderful flavor, a little bit of heat and the, the lime that, and the zest of lime. So you just take that, put it all over top. All right, beautiful, is it not? I have to thank you for coming over, hanging out with us and with our little Chesapeake bite today. We always appreciate it. And we also appreciate if you tell your friends, your family, the neighbors, the milkman, whoever, um, that, we try to get out and show everybody the best that the Chesapeake has to offer, the best that Maryland has to offer. Um, and we usually do that by going to farmer's markets, roadside stands, meeting artists and makers from all around the region. You know, because when you go out there and you meet those people, number one, you're going to love them. But when you open the pocketbook and spend some money, you're putting that money right back into the local food economy. So... Thank you so much. If you want to find out a little bit more, you could go to our commontable.org. We have all kinds of social media. I mean, it's so much, but I'm not quite sure how to do it. But you get out there and you do it. Um, and another great resource is marylandsbest.net. So if you're looking for the farmer's market or the roadside stand or what's in season, you can find it there. So in the meantime, roast anything you can find and get ye to the farmer's market. Thanks so much for watching. We hope that you got some ideas to recreate in your own kitchen and learned a little something along the way. For more information on our common table and our mission to eat well, protect our environment, and rebuild the local food economy one dish at a time, check out our website and join us on social media.